what's up you guys I hope you like my nails I'm gonna show you exactly how I did them in this video so you can achieve this look right here um, this is white acrylic this is not nail polish so stay tuned for more what's up you guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to talk to you guys about my nails so as you can see these are my natural nails and they're beautiful I love my natural nails but I also love acrylic nails so um, this is a method that I found out how to do your own acrylic nails at home and it's really really easy so you need all your preparation stuff that's the sanding block you need it for your natural nails this is Dehydrator by Easy Flow. That's the primer that you're going to need. That's also by Easy Flow. Um, this is the liquid monomer. That's by Mia Secrets. And this is some really good acrylic that I bought from eBay. I'm going to leave her link down below because it's really good quality acrylic. Um, and it's not expensive at all. It's a great price. That's four ounces right there. And I probably got that for $7. This is a 100, 180 grit nail file, and this is a Kabuki brush from Victoria's Secret. That's the dappin' dish I got with my first acrylic set, and you're also going to need a paper towel. <laughs> so these are the dual forms right here. They look like nail tips, but they are not nail tips. They're actually acrylic nail molds, and I keep mines all in that little bag right there because those are the sizes that fit my finger. This is a number four acrylic brush. I got that for a dollar at the beauty supply store, but this is an even better brush I got. It's a number six Kalinsky crimped acrylic brush, and this one was about $15 on eBay. I got most of the stuff that I'm using from eBay. <laughs> I love eBay. Um, and I also have these masks right here because I don't want to breathe in too much of the dust and the fumes and everything, even though I also have my windows open so I should have did this last like because even though Mia Secret doesn't have a stinky monomer some of them are really smelly and the monomer is just sitting out like I should have sorted around all my forms um <laughs> before I pour the monomer in the glass so this is like I just keep my forms in that little bag right there and this is all the sizes from the thumb to the pinky the left to the right you know they're mostly all the same sizes for both sets of fingers and this is me just roughing up my nail bed a little bit gently very very gently it looks like I'm doing it not gently because it's sped up but I am going gently um some people push their cuticles back um clip their cuticles I have a cuticle pusher but I didn't use it because I don't know I just don't like pushing back my cuticles to put on acrylic nails because the cuticle is kind of like a protective layer of skin so I kind of just felt a little bit more comfortable not pushing my cuticle back I know they say that that may cause premature lifting but I don't care this is the dehydrator I'm putting on my nail bed you're gonna need this to also help with the lifting and you put that on all 10 fingers so this is the primer you put on two coats of primer you put on one right now and you put on the next coat right before you put on the wet acrylic mixture so this is me just um, getting all the air bubbles out of my brush to make sure that it's like an easy flow or whatever and one thing about acrylic nails is it does take a little bit of practice. The first time I did it, I was not that good at it. It may look like I'm a semi-pro right now, but um, I did practice a lot. I did watch a lot of videos. I did do a lot of trial and error. I did purchase a lot of um, products, as you can see. So what I just did was I just took a few beads of the acrylic and... I put them in the nail mold. I wanted my nails to be kind of long, so I kind of use up most of the mold. <laughs> and you want to do it thick from side to side and really, really fill the mold up. Really don't be scared to fill it up because if you don't, the nail will be too thin in some areas and that may cause cracking in the nail and that may cause the nail to break, especially if the nails are kind of longer like mine's are. So, yeah. 
<laughs> so I'm just pressing it right here, making sure nothing, I mean, I know it's not on camera, you guys can't see, I'm sorry about that, but um, I'm just removing the excess acrylic away from my cuticle because you don't want the you don't want the acrylic to be in your cuticle you just want it to be on your fingernail not like going into your fingernail <coughs> oops excuse me sorry i'm sick <laughs> um so yeah i'm filling up another one and i'm just going from side to side filling it really really good and making the nail really thick and i forgot to mention that i didn't i didn't use tips or glue because you don't need tips or glue the acrylic is gonna already harden to a state of durability and you just don't really need the the um, tip unless you really do want that shape but the mold already gives you that shape and another awesome thing about dual forms is you don't have to do any buffing or filing because when you take the dual form off the nails are really 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 shiny and it's just like an instant amazing finish <coughs> oh my gosh I hate being sick okay so <laughs> so yeah I just thought I would do something nice for myself today so I did my nails um I've been saying I was gonna do my nails all week but I didn't have time to do it this only took me about maybe an hour to do but you know it the preparation and just the mental process of you know all of this kind of is just what takes me a while to do my nails sometimes so yeah so I'm just filling up more forms right here and I'm putting on that primer as you can see because you do want it to be kind of wet I just put on another layer of acrylic to make the acrylic wet so it could stick really well and when you put it on it may slide a little bit but just hold it down for at least maybe I say one minute to give everything a chance to adhere and stick together Mm, mm, mm. I'm getting over a cold. We're having bad weather in Atlanta. Well, we were, but we're not anymore. Um. So yeah, I'm just gonna fill up the rest of these, and I will. Let me see if I should play the rest. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm gonna just fill up the rest of these and come back with the finished product if you guys have any questions for me I would love to answer your questions or oh, maybe I can just tell you guys what inspired me to learn how to do my own nails um I would like like to lie and say maybe all this political stuff is inspiring me and it is inspiring me but I had a friend and we were supposed to like go get our nails done together but that friend is always like flaking on me so I was like I'm sick of waiting on my friend and I don't really want to go get my nails done by myself for real for real cuz like you know so I just got really interested I think all of a sudden in learning how to do this and it just became really really interesting to me and now I'm so interested in it <laughs> So yeah, I'll show you guys the finished product, and this is how everything basically came out. You can see I still have the form on a few of the nails, but yeah, it took a really good shape, and they're really durable, and here is some more of how they look, and I'm really, really, really pleased with everything, and this is the nails after I filed them a little bit, gave them, you know, just some more shape. All right. 